Hello everybody and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon, the previous episode. Ooh, that was a mighty one. We uh, tried out the Death's Door build with Willow, our Dark Wraith, and mixed with our apostate Sophia, and it went really well until I pushed our luck a little too far and the Collector showed up. We didn't have the range we needed, we didn't really have the healing we needed, and it all fell apart and Willow unfortunately perished. There was plenty of ways I could have prevented his death, I do realise. It's definitely my own fault. And I, I really hope that we can that we can make up for his death and it not be in vain. And a few people have told me there is revival events. There's, a, there's like three different events, I think, that could possibly be used to revive Willow and any other fallen heroes. So we just gotta hope that they show up at some point. But let's get right into this. Here we are in the Cursed Estate, and you may notice that we're not at 64 members like, like we were before with Willow gone. We're actually at 63, and that's because something very upsetting happened. Unfortunately, Nevada, our Butcher class, is no more. And you may be thinking, why? What happened? Did you play on stream or off camera? Nope. Unfortunately, the mod author updated his mod and it completely broke the class. It crashed the game immediately upon starting up. I couldn't boot the game at all. So unfortunately he is gone. I've been told that if I reinstall the mod when it's fixed, I should hopefully keep the class. It shouldn't, like, Nevada shouldn't be dead dead. But for now he's gone. Which is sad because I, I, I very much enjoyed having him around. It was, it was really nice. So it's a little upsetting to see him gone. Oh, we should sell one of these. We don't need two of those. I, I know that I don't particularly need two Book of Sanities, but I'm keeping them just in case. There could be a situation in which that becomes really useful. Uh, but yeah, we've got a few different options for things to do today. Uh, I did do one thing. I uh, finished off our Nomad Wagon, so we're going to get more trinkets coming up as we go along, just so we can hopefully find some better deals, things like that. Um, and I, I'm not fully sold on the idea yet but considering we have a lot of level twos that don't really have too much ability to heal at some point i think i'm going to start bringing in some maybe bringing in some level twos as like passes by that we don't give a backstory we don't give a name they appear for one mission they help out with that one mission and they leave they're just passers by, so you have to let me know what you think of that idea. But we're only going to resort to that if we get stuck to the point where we literally don't have healers available uh, and the level 2s are really struggling. Hopefully it shouldn't get to that, but it is something that we have to look out for. Wield is something we need to uh, get done here. I'm actually going to go on a, on a short mission here and just like try and get a bunch of it. Well, I say a bunch. Try and get some XP on a few people here. So let's take um, let's take a few people out here, shall we? Uh, into the wield. We do have the ability of the collector showing up again, which honestly, it's pretty scary. It's pretty scary, but it's got to be done. So we're going to bring out Leo, uh, then frontline. Dai can come out frontline. Um, who do we want to, who else do we want to bring here? Victoria, she can come out as well. And then we need some heals. We could go with Aurora or Alexander, or we even have, um, we even have like Artemis that could come out with us. Let's let's bring Artemis with us and get her leveled up to level three, um, and jump in this quick mission here. We're gonna need to trinket people up. So Artemis, you can go full on healing as as you are supposed to. Let's just reorganize these by rarity. Apologies. Uh, so we'll get that on you along with that. There you go. I think that's gonna be a really good combo on here for some. Much needed extra healing, which I very, very much like. Very much like indeed. Here we've got some interesting stuff because we've got the Abominations Key, which is going to up his accuracy by a hell of a lot, but also massively increase his stun chance. Um, we do unfortunately have this here and uh, Pressured, which is not great. Quick to run's also not, not that good. Um, but... 10 accuracy versus stunned. All of this is very good. Uh, and then, so that will put his stun chance uh, up to a crazy, crazy amount. That's his resistance, not his stun chance. But his stun chance is going up pretty high. If we have a look here, 110 chance plus 35. And then on top of that, we're going to add on his lock, wherever that is for another 20% chance, and that makes his stun chance just impossible to beat. And one thing we need to do as well before we 
go out here is just check the skills everyone we're bringing along with us. So let's just sort by level and get all these guys up to the top. Uh, Dai, yeah, you need some upgrades here. So what are we using on you? First two. Using the first two, Jawbreaker and Dash In. Are we gonna are we gonna place for the dash in? I think we are, yeah. So there you go, Victoria. Let's bring you in. See if you need upgrades. No, you're fine. Leo, do you need upgrades? No, you're fine as well. And Artemis. No, we're only using these two skills mainly as how we're not changing over to our beast form, so that's fine. But yeah, we can actually switch this around a little bit. And have him start at the back and then rush in to start combat. Which is really, really nice, actually. Cause look at that huge buff he gives himself there. Dai is going to be doing some hard, hard hitting here. And I, I do love to see it. Uh, before we embark on this journey, um, we do have a few dire entries here. We have a few from Cell and then a few from Tia. And we have a few from me as well. Uh, one from Cell here is for Prisoner 10. And this is written in the third person. Prisoner 10 stands atop a hill overlooking the darkest dungeon. A faint chill in the air, and 10 stands loggingly at the dungeon. A faint flicker hovers in his eyes, and a silent thun um, thundering echoes from the armor. Ooh, very nice. Then we have another one here. Uh, entry for Dismas again by Cell. The voices, they've returned, haunting me of my crimes. A bleakness seems to emanate from me. I need a drink. I'm loving all this story, uh, this like build up of characters and everything. It's really, really good. But yeah, um, so we've got these three trinket up. Actually, these two trinket up. So I think Dai is going to be our hardest hitter. So we're going to build him for damage. Um, his crit's not particularly good. Your crit's not particularly good either. Uh, let's go with. Let's have a little look. See what do we want to. What do we want to go with here? We could go with a full damage build. Uh, we're going into the. Are we going into the Warrens? No, we're going to the Wield. Uh, let's let's do a little check. What's the uh, what does the Wield hold for us? Darkest. I know I check this often, but I want to check anyway. It's darkest dungeon. The Wield. Let's check what's the main enemies we're going to be seeing in the Wield here. So Eldritch, 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 Eldritch. Human, human beast, human, eldritch. We're pretty much going to be seeing mainly eldritch here. So let's uh, let's put on that one, shall we? So you can have the extra damage versus eldritch because we don't really need dodge on you. Uh, and I, I swear, don't we have another trinket that gives bonus damage to eldritch? That might not be true, but I, I thought we did. Uh, let's just check to see if we have any pit fighter trinkets. No, we don't. I didn't think we did. I was just checking to make sure. And what else should we go with on you then? Um, Maybe we'll just go with the boots. Yeah, for that extra damage. And then on you, you're doing a lot of bleed. Um, A lot of bleed, a bit of stun. You've got your repost as well. So if we could maybe get some bleed synergy going on here, that'd be nice. I think just buffing your accuracy is going to be really nice along with a little bit of crit to start out there. We could go with the self-heal. Go resistances, prot. There's a lot of things we can do here. Um, twenty cent. Okay, that's that's bleed chance versus mark. We don't really need to mess with that. We'll go with the slight extra bleed chance here. Yeah, let's go with that. Them two, them two sound good to me. And I think everyone's trinketed up now, pretty well. But this is gonna be. He's gonna be an the absolute star of the show here. He's gonna be stunning like there is no tomorrow. Absolutely no tomorrow, and we will uh, we'll push him in. And I think this is, if let's have a little look, see, shall we? Uh, so we've got Inda Kisser, which is very front line. C come on there, got headbutt, jaw break. Um, got that there. Let's have a look. You, Crimson Lance. So do we have anything that pushes her back a little bit? We do. Okay, so we do have the ability to hit the back line with Crimson Dance. So we do want to use that, although that gets a minus 75% damage if in position 2, which isn't great. And we have that repost. It's... Honestly, it's not the best. It's not the best in the world for um, for for the collector here but i think i think we we have enough of a chance to do this that we should be okay uh i think i think we we, we should be absolutely fine to go ahead here and this is only a level one so let's jump into this we'll get ourselves 14 food three 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 and 
12 of those. And I think that'll be good for us. We'll head on in. We'll head on in. And here we go, look. I really love that collector. And by the way, I bought myself a real-life collector miniature because I just think it's cool as hell. But yeah, I always, I always love seeing this. I wish it had some actual description rather than just saying missing, but I love it nonetheless. But by the way, we do have one other entry here. We have plenty to get through today, but we have one other here that is just from Chassis, the um, succubus from the last mission she went on with Willow. And she just says, delicious. That's all. She's got what she wanted. She feasted on her prey and led to his death. We do have a bonus to resolve XP as well as damage here. That's exactly why I went into the wield here. Even though it's only a level 1 mission, it may be, may be a bit of a waste of that, but honestly, I'm pretty happy with it nonetheless. Let's go through. We're exploring 90% of rooms here, so going down here first, going to all three of these rooms. But I think this group should be pretty good. There are re it's a really hard-hitting group with some heavy stun. And that's what I like to see. Let's try and take some of these out, shall we? Rapid rush. Nice resist on the bleed there. Nice dodge. Straight up stunning. You can't escape the stun. Like, if we... If we have a look at this... I'll, I'll have a look at it next time we come round to him and see what chance that has to stun. It's kind of insane. Um, and we'll just clear some stress off of you. I know you only had two, but I'll clear it off of you nonetheless. We'll mark ourselves here and activate a block slash repost. Then we can dash in. Which is not exactly going to be the most damage in the world, but it's a huge buff to us, which is great. And that repost is great for us there. Just going to keep clearing stress, even though we don't have any yet. There's nothing much else we can do with her. Um, and that Crimson Lance, we can attack the backline with really not that much damage to the backline. This is a problem we have with Leo right now. Unfortunately, you just saw there, he pushes his way to the back of the pack using quick to run, um, which is rare. It doesn't happen super often. Very nice crit there. It doesn't happen super often, but unfortunately when it does happen, it's pretty bad. So we got the common cold there. Honestly, common cold isn't that bad. 5% disease resist isn't going to make too much of a difference there. We'll get that punch in there. Nice hit. Stun on you, which is going to kill you, actually. Um, we'll cure that. Huge heals there as well. Very nice. And we'll finish you off with a nice warm strike. We'll uh, switch the party back around. So we are going to have to unfortunately sort of battle with uh, Leo trying to push himself to the back of the pact. And of course that could happen at really inopportune times. I reckon what we do in those situations though is just swap round and take the time to, to reposition him. Because it's so important for us to keep him in position. So very important. So we want to be keeping a, a very a very close eye on that and making sure that doesn't get out of hand. But this this mission here should mean that we have time for a second one coming in. And we do need to get around to starting off on some of the bosses soon though. But I'm really looking to get everyone or at least as many people as we can up to level 3 here. Always start off with that repose with the block. It's really, really nice. And again, carry on with the stress reduction here. It's only minor stress, but it's good. Uh, Leo got pushed back there, which is pretty bad for him. Who was that that just took a turn there? I'm not actually sure. I don't think it was you. Let's hit you for a stun. And actually a significant amount of damage as well. Yeah, it was his turn next, so that was nice. These guys have high crit. These guys have very high crit. It's good to know. We'll see if we can kill him. We did crit him, which is lovely. Um, let's go for a heal on ourselves. Just a heal of six. Nice crit, another crit and stun. Try and finish you off with a single hit. Didn't quite work. Um, I think they should kill both of them. Not quite, but it did enough. You're stunned anyways. Grave Nibbler there. Nice dodge. Artemis. Artemis isn't particularly pleased to be with the people she's with right now, I can tell. But she at least couldn't have some comfort in the fact that Leo is a horror of his own. We're going to leave Leo at the back there and let him do his thing. Let him do his thing. Finish you off. Finish you off. Oh, Dai just does so much damage. It's insane. Did take a nibble there. A briefest of nibbles. Heal you up to full. Or near to at least. And we can actually dash in from back here, which is surprising. Do that, nice one. And 
And yeah, just keep on doing this and get rid of that stress. We can move you around soon. Don't worry about that. Throw that down. It did resist, but they're bodies, so that's why. <laughs> oh, unfortunately, we're, we're in a tough spot here where it's hard for us to hit this thing. Very hard for us to hit this thing indeed. Keep clearing stress off people that we can. Stress relief is going to be relatively easy with this team, I think. But this nibbler, this nibbler, it's it's hitting us harder than it should. <laughs> it really is. We need to get rid of these bodies as soon as. There you go. Because this guy can't do anything from back here. This is why having him move to the back is really bad. We need to fix that. Uh, we did get a disease on Artemis here. I'd like to check out what exactly that's doing. Honestly, minus 20% healing while um, camping is not an issue at all. It really isn't. So I, I don't particularly mind that. I think we can deal with that more than easily enough. That's not combat, so we don't need to go there. Although that would be an easy room clear. Let's just do that anyways, shall we? Because we could get the Collector here. The quicker we finish this mission, the better. I'm not really intending on fighting the Collector this time around. So if we can avoid it, that'd be better. Although, I mean, we all know that that fight right there is the Collector, don't we? We all know it. We all know it to be true. What did I say? What did I say? We knew it to be true. We knew it to be true. You cannot escape this stun, my dude. You cannot escape it. Which is beautiful. Um, take this time to get as much damage on it as we can. Rush in. If we can get another stun off, that would be fantastic. Let's do this. We might be able to kill him this round, you know. With this, with this stun coming out and die about to end a kiss him. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Collected. I think not. I think not. That that right there is why we need this crazy, crazy stun chance. Because we just fought through the 50% bonus stun resist without a second thought. It was easy. And that is exactly why Leo, with the trinkets he has set up with now, he cannot be stopped cannot be stopped. He is a force to be reckoned with. He really is. Um, Let's pull you forward, shall we? Can't be guarded now as well. That's nice. We'll slap you with a stun. We'll rush in and try and finish you off. Didn't quite finish you off. It's got these guys out of position now, which is nice, though. That dead meat is going to be kind of annoying. But not too bad. A little bit of blight there isn't too bad. This will finish you almost definitely. Dai can hit like an absolute truck. Dai, like, he might be like one of the most powerful melee classes that we have right now. He's, he's so insane. Um, We don't need to do any stress relief or anything, so let's just do this. Get those debuffs. Extra crits received, all that. Instantly demolished. Get a stun on you. Yeah, that's actually killed you, which is surprising. I wasn't expecting that. Keeps throwing out parasites, though, and that, it doesn't doesn't bode well for uh, Artemis here. Uh, let's clear off some of these blights. I keep forgetting that we can do that so easily. If you're stunned, right? I'm gonna I'm gonna take on the backline guy here. He's stunned, so we'd have to worry about him for another round. And there you go. You finish that off. Nice crit there as well. Love to see it. Great stuff. Uh, we've got two trinkets here. Um, can we afford to take those? They're like worth like 600 gold each. Nah, I'm not going to bother. I'm not going to bother. We're not that desperate for money. I'm I'm so glad we had Leo to take care of that collector. If he'd have managed to like pull off what he was trying to do and got his heads out there, it could have been real bad. And after just seeing Willow... We we knew it we knew it to be bad. But these guys these guys were out on the hunt for him. They they heard the stories of, of Willow falling prey to the um to the collector and I think uh, I think they gathered together, they banded forces with Sun and Six to track him down, see where he was gonna be next, and it, it paid off. It truly did. They they got out there, they hunted him down and they finished him off. Oh, unfortunate dodge there. 
Gonna get the stun on you. I was gonna get it on the bird, but we unfortunately can't reach that. Wing slam there is gonna give us this weird stun effect, which I really I still don't know how that works exactly. Okay, we've got some double bleeds there. No rabies though, which is lovely. Do not like seeing rabies. Please no rabies. Please no rabies. Yes, she resisted rabies. Beautiful. Oh, 43. He crit for 43. What's his base damage? It's 26. Oh my god, it's crazy. It's crazy. Heal you up. I probably should have healed it myself there, but not a big problem. We got that bleed reapplied, and we got this going on with us. Let's take you out. Finish you off. We're, we're stunning with a 10 damage crit. That is an absolute bargain, Leah. You are doing great, great work. Victoria here is outstanding. Outstanded. Outstanded? She's very impressed. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. She's very, very impressed. I can tell you that. I think she's doing outstanding work. Get a few bleeds there. Not a problem. It's trapped. We did take some blight there, right? Let's let's get rid of these blights and bleeds, shall we? Uh, that was fine. This one I will get rid of, but everything else is fine. Right. This should be the last room we need to go to. Only a hundred pennies. Got a few of these guys. Having the surprise doesn't affect us too badly. It only really affects Leo. And there's the rabies. We were we were looking to avoid the rabies, but there they are. This is bad. This is bad. Oh. But that, that makes it feel a little better. But you know what? You don't do it often, but you're changing to your beast form. You're changing to your beast form. It stresses everyone out a little bit. But we get that stun off on everyone. Rush in, do some damage. And we'll change ourselves back. Just to get ourselves back into position more than anything. I think that works out. Get a stun on you real quick. And punch you. Insta kill you. Slice on this guy. And this dog is going down. We'll take out the bodies first. Get you moved up. Nice one. We'll take a bit of stress here moving along. But that's fine. It's a little bit of horror. And there you go. Complete. Return to Hamlet. A nice little quick quest there. Not looking to do too much with that one, but I think we've made a, made a nice little bit of progress there. And this should get a good amount of XP for everyone. Artemis getting up to level 3 and everyone else getting near to it. There's another healer that's outside of the healing thing. Extra. Ooh, damn. Plus 15 healing skills is amazing. We might want to try and lock that in, actually. I haven't really done anything with locking things in yet. Uh, but that could be really, really nice. So, let's just quickly take a little overview of these guys and make sure we're doing the right stuff. Um, we got 10 prot and 20% max HP in the next wield mission. Isn't that where we just were? Either way, I'm happy with it. Uh, right, let's quickly just take our trinkets off, everyone. Um, go trinkets. Unequip all, yep. And quickly go like this. Actually, no, we'll, we'll put them in first before we do this. Right, so who who took on the worst of, worst of the diseases here? You took on rabies, which I'm definitely going to get rid of. Um, Leah. We want to get rid of quick to run on Leah, but it is quite costly. I think I'm going to get rid of it anyways, because it's, it's very annoying. Um, and then... To lock, that's a lot to lock that in. Okay, we won't do that for now. It's not entirely necessary. Let's see what trinkets we've got available to us. Um, nothing particularly great there. Let's have a look at some of these ones. These ones are obviously usually quite a bit better, but we don't know if we want to go for any of these yet. Straight up minus 50% stress. That's insane. That's so good. I mean, it's crazy amounts of money. We'd have nothing left, but that's that's insane actually insane. I'm looking for the more general ones that we can use on any hero. They're, the, they're sort of the better ones for us right now. There are some really good ones here, but I'm not going to take any of those yet. Uh, let's see who we, who else we've got in the stagecoach. Um, we, we have a new Ronin. We have a new Ronin. Let's take on a second Ronin. This is the spiritual replacement. 
of Kronos. We have a Sunlight Warrior here. Um, you've not got anything on you, do you? Yeah. Let's um, quickly rename you to Oracle. And get rid of old Oracle. You have been training. So what I kind of see this as when we upgrade people like that, I kind of see it as they've been, they've gone out like training and, and beefed themselves up and got ready for the next adventure sort of thing. So they've been doing some like, they've gone to the um, wherever, somewhere in town to train themselves up and they've been like sparring with people and that's how they've leveled up. That's kind of how I see it envisioned in my head. Like I said, we have some more diary entries here. We have a pretty big one here. This is an entry from a sixth, another one by Cell here. My, my work with Sun has given me insight and it's proven valuable to the front line. We've been able to ensure that no beasts can surprise us. And finally, the odds are... Oh, Sun calls from nearby and out of breath. Six, we've found something at the old Miller place. Yes, the team that went there reported sightings of a tall, mangled creature stalking the grounds. Dismas was the only one to get a good look at it. He said it was nearly 12 feet tall, a bestial head and riddled with glowing blue crystals. We have to begin tracking it immediately. Call for Ryan as he has knowledge of such otherworldly creatures. They've been out. They've seen the thing of the stars and they need to begin tracking it. They have to, if they want to survive. And then we have another one here. This is by our apostate, Sophia, and this is by written by T.A. I have severely underestimated the power the light can offer us. I spoke the old incantations, pushing our bodies to the limit, edging closer and closer to death. But Willow, whatever kind of creature he may be, shone today. I could feel him on the edge, an inch away from death, total oblivion, and his body seemed to erupt in fire as he took blow after blow and failed to die. His strikes were empowered by me, by the light, and by the precarious balance between living and dead. Unfortunately, I failed at the end when things, to, uh, when that thing that took Diana Man's life reared its ugly head again and struck Willow in a moment of vulnerability. All I remember is a deafening boom and a pain. When I look up, the collector was gone, and so was Willow. Oh, oh, oh. Gives me shudders. I love it. Absolutely love it. Right, uh, let's sort this out again. Right. Gonna go out on a new adventure. Let's have a look. We do have some bonuses to wield missions, so maybe we could fit in a long adventure into the, the wield here, level 2 adventure. That might be a good idea. And we'd get this, which is pretty good. I'd like to take that um, into the wield again here. It's pretty scary. Pretty scary on a long adventure. But I think we should take the chance. And considering we're getting that bonus to prop and maximum HP, that's going to be great for us. So let's see who we can take along for the ride here. Let's see who's going to be who's going to be the best people to, to bring with us. So I think Cura, having Cura up front is going to be good. Him slicing things open. He's got some of these stuns that you can help out with as well, which is great. Um, we could have Nick for the stress relief, and actually he could be applying some some gnarly bleed along the way. Let's um, let's have a little look here. Yeah, I think I think we'll go with these skills here. Mainly have him causing bleed and then buffing the party and gi giving stress relief. I'm not going to mess with his final um, his. Finale, sorry. Uh, Jonathan Baker, so if I remember correctly, let me just go check once again. Um, if we go back to the wield and take a look at some of the bleed resist to some of these enemies, I think bleed is pretty good here. Um, yeah, in like for generally, bleed is going to serve us pretty well here. There's a lot of things that don't have very high bleed resist. So I think we're going to be good with bleed here. So let's let's go with that. So we could take Jonathan Baker as well, um, as he has some really interesting synergy here. And we need a we need sort of a dedicated healer as well. So let's have a little look. See who could who could come out and lend their hand as a healer. We could take Amaris. She's she's often quite good. Um, does the Jester work in the back line? Not really. Not really. Jonathan's only really up the front. But Amaris here, as a healer, is, is much better off. Much, much better off in the back line. Uh, in the front line, sorry. She doesn't really function well in the back line. So maybe, maybe we'll switch this out a little bit. So we'll put you there. I mean, technically... Let's, let's have a look. Let's, let's do this. 
Could we switch his skills around a little bit to be a bit more useful? Uh, that is going to move him forward three, though. We don't really want that. We don't really want that. So this would make him effectively useless in, in, in combat, in terms of um, actually dealing damage. But if all, all we're using him for is his buffs, that's not terribly bad. Um, really, that's not that's not an awful thing. Hmm. Let's have a look. So he's going to be bleeding. Maybe, maybe we'll take off Kuro and maybe go for a even more bleed heavy build, and go with like Trell. Like, it's, it seems seems kind of crazy. Seems kind of crazy. But, but I'm kind of down with this. <laughs> Go with these two. Let's try, let's try this out. So, in terms of long run, how much damage do we have here? Oh my god, what happened? Okay, one, one moment, guys. Okay, we're back. We did have a crash, unfortunately. I'm not quite sure what that was about. Um, that was unfortunate. I'm still thinking about this build. I'm still not 100% sure. If I want to go with this, it's it's an interesting build, but I feel like we lack the raw damage output to maybe kill things quick enough. And if anything like comes upon us that's resistant to bleed, it's going to be really tough for us to push through. So I think what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to keep uh, Jonathan with us because he can he can be an off healer. Um, but we're going to bring someone else up front. And do you know what? I'm going to go back to Kira. I think Kira works. He has extra damage versus bleeding as well, so that's nice. And we'll we'll try and play around with that. Um he, he does he does have two bleed skills that we could mess around with. Maybe we'll get rid of his mark and go with his bleed guillotine here. Um always crits targets below 25% HP, does a bit of bleed. Bleed amount applied versus marks and stunned. Okay, we'll try this out. This could be interesting. Uh let's get everyone trinketed up and ready to go. So we do have this um, this Death's Door and Death's Blur as this trinket, but we're probably not going to play Jonathan at Death's Door, I don't think, so we don't really need to mess around with that. So first of all, here, uh, the main way we're going to be healing here is um, the Repursed healing, uh, which is just awesome. Absolutely awesome. Such a, cool, uh, such a cool way to play this character. So we will add all of the healing buffs to her. Now, she does lose a lot of HP off of that, which isn't great admittedly, but it's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. Let's let's go to class specific and just see if we have any class specific ones here for the keeper that could be really good. I don't think we do. Jonathan, we only have this one that's class specific. Um Cura, we don't have any class specific here. And we only have the dice class specific here. So we're probably not going to go with many class specific things here. So I think Jonathan, we kind of know how to build Jonathan. We want bleed resist as high as possible so that he can use his reclaim easily. Um, so let's have a little look. We do have a few ways of buffing up his bleed resist here. So plus 30% bleed resist is going to be a really solid, solid buff there. Up to 115%. This here, uh, self bleed, this resist does help with that. So we'll go with that and then... Um, on top of that, we could up his bleed chance and debuff skill chance. Does he have any debuffs that, uh, that come alongside? It's only the bleed resist debuffs, really. Uh, so that that's not too important. But the bleed chance is nice. Let's. I'm, I'm just kind of thinking what might be better. Is there anything on Jonathan that might hit a little harder, so to say? We could just go with a, a bit of extra damage on him and that extra bleed resist so we guarantee we don't take that bleed damage. Or we could go with all the resists possible. It's it's a it's an odd one. It's an odd one. We definitely don't need that though. His his class specific trinket isn't really gonna help us too much here. Um Extra damage on first round, don't think we need that really. Extra damage reflection could be interesting. But I think ultimately it makes the most sense to go with this here. Extra bleed chance is lovely. Uh, Kuro, he's he's kind of going to be our damage dealer, although his damage isn't the best. So let's try and buff that up as much as we can. Buff up that crit. And I think if we got another thing that buff... I always forget if we've got another thing that buffs crit or not. Um... 
We could just go with this here, which keeps his crit the same, but gives him a flat 25% damage buff. Or we could go with the Eldritch Ring. Yeah, we'll go with the Eldritch Ring instead. And get that extra damage versus Eldritch. And I think that's going to be pretty nice. We can sell one of those. Yeah. Just sell one of those because we don't need it. Um, and then uh, our Jester Nick here. I don't think we have anything that buffs stress relief from what I know of. He's going to be... The main thing, two things he's going to be doing is buffing targets and um, inspiring tune. So he's already got high speed. But if we could up that speed somehow, that might be a nice way to go about it. That might be a nice thing to uh, to start off on here. He's not really going to be hitting things too much. We can buff his speed, but the disease resist and maximum HP reduction there is is very scary. Uh, I don't think we have anything else here that buffs speed. Damage. That's lower speed. Definitely don't want that. We've got quite a few things here that lower speed actually. So let's let's actually put his uh, put his dice on to get that accuracy and dodge. And maybe... No, actually, do you know what? Do you know what? Don't listen to me. Let's add this on. So his first round, he, he always goes last, but after that, he's going to be going first. The accuracy doesn't matter, but the speed is huge. And... We could just put some prot on him. Yeah, let's just put some prot on him. There you go. And that'll, that'll do us. And I think everyone's looking good now. Everyone's looking good. I can't believe we've got no, nothing bad on you at all. That's great. And we'll, we'll try out this and see how this goes. Let's head into the wield again on a long mission. This episode could run a little longer than normal just because we're uh, heading out. Uh, we're going to just get two, double full stacks of those. Six of those. And then five of everything else. It's a long mission after all. I don't mind spending a little bit extra money just to be safe here. And we embark... And with that, we read out our last diary entry. This one's by me, and this is from Maggie the Cook. I'd been told of the tale of Diane's death a few times, but I never really could believe that such a horror was real. But there it stood, its cloak writhing and convulsing, and when it swung its withered hand to reveal what lied beneath, I saw them. The faces of rotted flesh and bone, screaming in pure terror. And one of them was unmistakably Diane. Collected. My god. My god. Diane, seeing her, seeing her face embedded in that cloak. God damn, that's got to be scary. But we've got to remember, everyone here is getting very, very, very nice buffs to maximum HP. And redeem heals for maximum HP. So, even better. Even better. I think this should be a pretty decent group. I think this group could, could really do well. And we're going to be getting uh, a decent amount of XP for this because it is a long mission after all. And we should have plenty of stress relief here. So, let's have a look. So we're at 20, 20, 20. Yeah, all of these are, are, um, are bleed resist 20. So we'll just hit you. Crit there is beautiful. 5 over 5 is pretty nice to start with. And we immediately activate the repurse, which is going to heal everyone. And repurse to heal everyone again. I love this repurse skill. It's so good. Hit you. I'm pretty sure here, if, if, I, if we take a little look when we get the chance... Nice dodge, Jonathan. Um, yeah, everyone get the buff. He'll probably go again straight away. Yeah. Which is great, because now everyone gets plus 6 speed, accuracy, and crit. But this here is going to do 52% extra damage versus marked and 27 versus bleeding. The bleeding synergy here alone is really, really good for us. So we set up the bleed. It marked me, but I don't care. Then we do this, and that's what we're looking for. With that bonus crit chance, all the way up to 20%, it's huge. Absolutely huge. Keep doing this. Love it. Buffs that death blow resist. This might actually be an interesting person to do with, um, with Sophia and a death blow build. We keep buffing everyone's speed. And I think speed... Speed plus bleed, the speed and bleed tactic, which might be the title of the video now, thinking about it. Speed and bleed tactic is actually really, really nice. Like, we just keep doing this, and as soon as people start getting stressed, that's when we use our stress thing. Look at that. 16% crit. Crits are all but guaranteed. All but guaranteed. Right, we'll pop this bad boy open, see what we get. 
Get there, Kira. Nice one. Lovely. Okay. Uh, we're completing 100% of room battles here. So... Let's, let's go to the ones that we can clearly see are already room battles that we know of. I'm loving this extra maximum HP as well. That's helping out a lot. I'm going to be taking pretty much everything we can get our hands on. And we're hoping that we get enough scouting chance here to find ourselves a secret room as well. So these are the only things that have really high bleed resist that we're going to come across. So hopefully we can still bleed it with the amount of chance we have. And it did indeed work. Oh, I'm loving this extra damage versus bleeding. This synergy, the speed between these two is working really well. The, normally, Jonathan goes first and then Kira goes after. And they get this 1-2 going on. We did get an unfortunate stun there on Jonathan, but that's not going to matter all too much. Buff everyone up. I love that. The double round buff. Having that stacked up so nicely works out, works out really well. Wow. Did you both just get the Dancing Plague in one turn? Oh no, so, okay, let's have a look. So you got the Dancing Plague, uh, prone to uncontrollable dancing, which basically means he'll move a lot, which probably means we want to swap these two skills around so that we can move him back into position. Um, and you, you got um, Gangrene, which is damage received, 14% crits received insane we need to get rid of that as soon as humanly possible that is insane to just the diseases the absolute diseases of this man chance to become blighted during combat oh my god that's that's not great i can tell you that for nothing not great let's get this body out of the way Do love that bleed, though. Um, yeah, we don't have anything to clear blight and bleed, so we just want to keep doing this, really. Activating that repurst. A bit of blight there. A bit of blight there. I dance. So, he's going to shuffle next turn. Yeah, we definitely want to change his skills around to allow us to work around that. 30 crit, lovely. Look at these buffs, it's insane. Cape Cloud, more blight. It just keeps coming. We can survive through it though, don't worry. But yeah, let's let's quickly just um, take these two off and go with... Um, finale... We don't really want to use that. Uh, forward three... Forward 3 is not really going to help. Does he only have that skill that moves him back? And that's going to increase his stress. Decrease his dodge. Decrease his speed. Maybe we don't. Maybe we just want to leave him. Um, I'll put this on. But yeah, we'll, we'll leave that. That could, that could be potentially annoying. Let's hope it's not too bad. Uh, we'll take this. Which is going to snuff out a bad... One of these. Let's have a look. Um, probably want to get rid of, yeah, a lot of those are bad. You don't have any that are negative. Paranoia, minus three speed after the first round. Let's, let's do it on you, shall we? Yeah, I got rid of burnout. Awesome. That's exactly what we wanted to see. But yeah, this is somewhat worrying. We all have a lot of blight, but at the minute I, I really couldn't care less about all this blight. Get that bleed out there. Heal everyone up. I, I love using Amorous. He just keeps everyone so topped up. That that crit heal was not good. Dead meat's going to hurt. Luckily, he's got a shuffle backwards, which I think doesn't work. We should get two turns in a row here. Unless the enemy gets a turn. So that's a problem. <laughs> that's a huge problem. So we just kind of have to play around this for now. Yeah. So I just want to test something. If we heal you, and we didn't resist the bleed, we didn't resist it. Yeah, this is, this is real bad. Having him having him move around puts our, puts our characters in a real horrible place.
finish you off. I don't like it. I don't like everyone having to move around like this. Jonathan's useless in the back line there. Okay. Ah, I did leave a parasite, unfortunately. We'll bandage you up. You can't do anything from there, so let's just... Look at that. That's, that's like, the worst. Stop dancing, fool. Oh my god, this is like the worst build to have dancing on. We can have... We can't do anything. God damn it, Nick. God damn it. My god, that was terrible. Right, Nick, stay... Stay put, please. Really? Another battle this soon? Finish you off. You're a real annoyance. Oh my god. We can heal ourselves here now. Let's just make sure everyone else is topped up. Activate that repose. We've got plenty of health here. Devour. Massive heals. Does he always crit on the heal there? It seems like he does. Very often, at least. Okay, we're starting to get up into the higher levels of stress now. So we'll start doing this. There you go. De-stressing people's nice. Nice hit. Dead meat, please, no. More horrifying streaks. Please die. Don't spawn a little grub, please. Okay, he didn't. Just a body. Just a body. Not too bad. Stop. Please. Oh, that's so insanely annoying. This is going to be a very annoying mission to play through. Because as soon as... Oh, I didn't mean to click the body. Of course I didn't mean to click the body. As soon as... um, As soon as he starts dancing, it starts to get really difficult to deal with. And we never know when he's going to. I, I imagine it's... It seems pretty damn common. Because it, it moves you out of position and you're terrible in that position. You should be dead here. Yeah, look, he can't do anything from that position. 35 crit. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Taken care of, at least. But yeah, this is going to be... It's going to be a rather annoying... Rather annoying build here. Um, we've got a lot of disease removals going on here. We really need to get rid of gangrene. Um, and we definitely need to get rid of Dancing Plague. Both of those are just just awful. Just awful. Can't believe we got both of those from one... From one instance of damage. One instance of caused disease just ruined us. God damn, we have a lot of food right now. We have 52 food. Nice. We'll leave that for now. I've got to do all the battles here, so I've got to adventure my way all the way out here. Get that scouting's great. God damn it. So many battles. We have to go through, though. We have to. Um, open that up, see what we get. More trinkets. Um, we don't need those. Okay, stress dealer there, but we did get... We did get the jump on him. Let's hope we can get a few hits here. Move these dogs out the way. Uh, straight away. St actually straight away. Insane. You would have thought that it would be like a random chance, not just like an all but guarantee. Rabid rush there, that's not too bad. You watch, he's going to get rabies too. One of these is going to get rabies as well. Basically what happens when, if he pushes himself to the front, he becomes a damage dealer and Everyone else gets completely screwed. Literally, he says, fuck off to everyone else in the group. I'm the damage dealer now. Look at this. Pushing Kira all the way to the back. Not good. We can just we can just do the buff. We don't need to do stress relief. Not yet at least. You're going to need it after that, though. Can't do anything from back here. Look at what you've done, Nick. Look at what you've done. The dancing plague is not something we need. Okay. Stress relief on you. Should help out with that. And it should finish you off. 
Right, oh my god. And we got double battles here as well. These guys aren't going to really bleed, are they? <laughs> no. We just have to deal damage to them. Always with the repurst here. It's too good not to. Stress relief, healing, all that jazz. Let's go with a buff. Well, the double buff, should we say. Bump in the night. Slime. As long as he doesn't keep duplicating himself, we'll be fine here. Which he probably will, very shortly. We can take out this other skelly, though. Hopefully with a crit. Hopefully with a crit. Nah. Damn. Yay, with a crit. Because that means there's no body left. If there's no body left, it's easier for us to attack him. But he spawned another anyways. He spawned another anyways. So we probably will be able to bleed this thing even though it's got high bleed resist. Get rid of some of that stress. I like the fact that it applies stress reduction as well. So nice. So very nice. Slice into you. That bleed's going to hurt a lot. Really? Really? Another one? Could you not? Keep buffing people up. Because that's enough to kill you. And that's enough to kill you. Just keep buffing you up. You've got plus 60% death blow resist. Really? More? Thank God that one died immediately. These can be such a pain in the ass to deal with. This is such a good build, though. Without this annoying mechanic of him moving with this disease, it's actually a really good build. I'm really liking it. Working out quite well. Working out quite nicely. Easy bleed on you. Always repair straight away. Finish you off. The, the bleed to the finish is just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. We did get marked, but honestly, he's he's sort of someone we want to be marked, so I'm, I'm not really that bothered about that. He can, t he can take it, and Kuro's dodging left, right, and center here, so he doesn't mind at all. Nice crit. And finish. Fortunately, there is... Unfortunately, sorry, there is bodies in the way, so we can't do much after this. Crit on everyone. Stress is coming down very fast, very nicely. Please, no more diseases. Please, no more diseases. We've had enough. We've had more than our fair share of diseases here. These guys can be kind of a pain. So he, he just blighted himself. Let's remove that blight, shall we? Let's do this. Heal himself up. It sets him as marked and gives him an absolute ton of prop. Nice kill. This body should decease to exist this turn. Push him forward. Nice. You're a little stressed. Let's just get rid of that. And this should be you gone, pretty much, this this wave. This round. I would think. Yeah, there you go. Easy taken down. These early missions are going super well and super smoothly. It's only once we get into the level 3s, 4s, 5s, 6 missions that we're going to start really struggling. It may seem like the game's a bit too easy right now and some of the, some of the mods we have on are making it too easy or some of the modded characters we have. But trust me... Things can go wrong so quickly later on. Things can go wrong so quickly. And, I mean, you've seen it. They have done in the past. It's not happening super often. But then again, in the early game, it shouldn't be happening super often. So once we reach here, I think we'll camp. Not that we need to, but we can get some good buffs out of camping. Um, got the key going on there. Nice. Lovely loot. Lovely. What we got here? Oh, this should be an easy battle. Especially with a surprise straight off the back. So we can get a nice bleed on you. Into a hit. Insta-kill. The setup. And it's, it's great as well. Because if we don't get the insta-kill. If we don't kill him straight off the bat from the bleed. Then we do end up killing him. Um, with the bleed itself. It's great. Okay, that's fine. Double marked. And here he goes. Nick to the rescue. Up front again. At least, whenever he moves to the front, at least one character can't do anything. And we get this situation. 
It's very annoying. Hey, that's where you want to be. That's where you want to be. Now stay there. Please. Oh, lovely crit. And finish. This should heal everyone up a bit. Stop healing Nick. He doesn't deserve it. No, I'm joking. Please, please heal Nick. Don't let Nick die. I still love you, Nick. I know it's only a disease. I know it's... You can't help it. It's your feeble mind. Get rid of this body. I should actually get rid of the body. A little bit of blight here. It's not a problem. This extra HP is invaluable right now. This should be it. You're done. Nine bleed with six HP and a 20 hit coming in. Beautiful. We only have two keys left, so we've got to, we've got to save a key for a secret room in case we find one here. I was going to say if we found one, then that'd be ace, but we didn't. Uh, yeah, we've got to save a key in case we find one here, so even if we find more chests and stuff, we're not going to open them. Like this, we're not going to open that. The light, the promise of safety. We want to save our key for a secret room, because we could get another head. Okay, we've got a few brigands here. This, these guys should get destroyed. We'll go on the back two first. Hurt a little bit. Minus two dodge. Bit of blight, bit of stress. Not the best. Okay, moving you around. It's bad, but it's not the worst. We'll, we'll double stun you two. Unfortunately, one of you did resist. I think even getting one of you there is perfectly, oh, perfectly fine. He did blight himself there as well. Let's remove that blight. And we're going to be doing this, actually. Setting up that um, crazy high prot and everything. Let's buff everyone up. Yep, you dance again. The double buff. Hit you for a nice amount of bleed. That, sh that could kill you. Oh, wait, I think he's got 6 HP left and only 5 bleed. Unfortunate. We definitely want some healing here. Get you with a bleed too. Everyone's bleeding. Now, please stop hitting him. He's already low enough. Right, we'll do that. And there you go. We're not, we've not got enough stress to start de-stressing people yet. Get them to a double crit there is lovely. And everyone's bleeding. Everyone's going to die next turn. Oh, apart from backline guy. He's not quite. Oh, why? Everyone's out of position. Nick, please. Can you just not, Nick? Big mistake, bud. You got five and four bleed. Why is it always one bleed off Nick? Oh my god. It's infuriating to deal with. I, it would be pretty kind of fun to have with a dancing party, but we do not have a dancing party, so it just it's just annoying. It's We've actually reached a max stack of gold, which is insane. Um We've been taking on a lot of blight, so I'd rather not get rid of that. But we've got high stacks of everything else. I'll get rid of the medical herbs for now. And let's just... Nick. Ow. Let's just quickly have a look at camping skills. And see if we have any prevent nighttime ambush here. Remove disease self only. Why self only? God damn it. Um... Because if, if we don't have a Prevent Nighttime Ambush, we don't really need to camp. Yeah, I don't even think we need to camp, you know. Like, camping's good, and being able to pass through a long mission without it, it's like a pretty good tell that you're doing damn well. So I'm happy about that. But th this guy here, after this dude, we could be taking some, some heavy hits. Please don't dance around the party this time around. Really would not be good for us at all. This guy can hit insanely hard. Reign of Blight. I'm just, every time that happens, I'm just so scared that we're going to take on a really bad disease. Yeah, this guy here. I was just about to say, if he crits, it's devastating. And what did he do? Please don't dance at this time. It's not time to dance. Get that going. He resisted the bleed as well. Lovely. This is stressing me out so much. Try and stun him. Thank God we got the stun off. Nice crit. Don't crit on the guy that needs it, will you? Oh my God. 
Nice crit there. 10 bleed. It's not enough, but it's something. Stop moving. Please stop moving. And then you just... Oh, God. This is infuriating. This is infuriating. Please don't. No. Okay, that's, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. They get marked there, but I'm actually going to play into that now that we've been marked. Yeah, I bet you do wish to stop dancing. Just kill him, please. Resist the bleed. Yes, he resisted again. Awesome. Get a stun on you and please the friend. Didn't even stun yet. God damn it. Yeah, we'll play into that though. We'll uh, give you that huge buff and heal you up a little bit because you do need it. Triggers on a stress, which is awesome. How oh, is this guy still not dead? There you go. I was going to say the bleed should have killed him by now, right? And on that very turn, it happened. Nice crits there. Lovely. Yay! The fun of just moving people around. Came out of this pretty well, considering. Do apologize there. I had to cough. <laughs> Right, uh, let's just kill this thing. I'm not going to mess around with everything else. Just kill him, please. Oh my god, Kira. You can't do anything here. Just stab this thing. We're all blighted and it's just... Reinforcements have arrived. Look what you've done. Look what you've done, Nick. Thank you. Get to the back of the line, you fool. Still, Jonathan can't do anything from this position. Apart from heal people, which I'm going to do. He did bleed himself. Kind of annoying. Oh, how is this fight? Leprosy! Could, could you stop diseasing? Literally everything I've ever loved to learn. Nick! I swear to God! Nick! Please, stop. Stop it. Get some help. My god. I can't even forfeit 10 because I'll suffer stress, but then you get stuck there and it's just... Nick, you, you literally ruin everything. Why do you have to be the way that you are? What do you think you are? Some kind of jester. You think you're funny? My god. I can't even attack with Amorous either. Nick's having to do everything. Do you know, I will, I will admit something. I am very dumb. Because I just realised that Jonathan can move multiple spaces in a turn. And I've not been doing that. <laughs> I did not realise that until right now. You better not give us another disease. We've gained so many diseases this run. It's kind of, it's kind of insane. But yeah, Jonathan can move like up two spaces here. Like, if we shuffle him, we can shuffle him, like, all the way to the front, look. I did not I did not notice that, and that has probably cost us quite a bit. Not gonna lie. You resisted the bleed, are you kidding me? My god. Someone's gonna get rabies. I know they are. Let's finish this and move on. Yeah, let's, let's do that. Let's do that, Mr. Joker. If only we had some way of doing that. This, this combat was way longer than expected. Now look at this guy. He just can't do anything. Everyone gets a nice heal up. More. Look, this, this combat's taking so long, there's more reinforcements. I've never seen a second wave of reinforcements. Literally never. Because Nick keeps bloody jumping around the place. Oh, you're going to die to bleed, please. Don't give me rabies, please. Oh my god, more enemies. I can't deal with more enemies right now. We're hardly hanging on as it is. Right, dog, please go. Why can't you hit anything from here? Oh my god. Right, back to original positions. Devour. Of course. Of course you get a crit. Jonathan, you better smack this thing as hard as you damn well can. There you go. My 
god. Insane. Insane. You might think I'm stupid here, but I'm going to leave this. We already have one, and they're not very good anyways. And they only sell 15 as well, because they're from a mod. Right. Back to de default party order. Oh, my God. Test for paranormal. Obsessed. Oh, that same guy. Nothing. And, uh, let's go here. Try and remove the quirks. Medical, nice one. That's a good one to remove. Oh, my God. This has been just something else. It's been something else. Let's let's have a little look-see what camping skills actually benefit everyone. That doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. These two don't really matter. Remove disease doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. That does matter, but not for us. Um, Doesn't really matter. That's pretty good. They don't matter. Okay, so all of all of our camping skills are kind of, kind of garbage. We don't really gain anything from camping, to be honest. <sighs> Warren scound, nice. I can get with I can get with that. Bit more food. Oh, oh, treasurer, treasurer. Okay, you must die. Yes! <laughs> that was beautiful. Okay, we just got a bunch of treasure. That's great. I don't think we have anywhere to de-stealth at the moment. You are blighted now. It's only a tiny amount of blight though, so I don't actually care. Oh my god. I am feeling so stressed right now, I have to say. This has been the most stressful few bits of combat I've ever done in my life. Right, get that double buff going. Uppercut. Nice one. Sing them a tune. And don't move. Let's get you going with that. Need that self-heal. We've still got that repose going, so that's fine. Finish you off. You should die to bleed, right? Yep. Nice. The repose there is coming out. And yep, yeah, we'll carry on with this. This guy should be an easy kill, though. Not quite easy enough, but there you go, he's gone. And we should get a lot of treasure from this. Hey, that's all the money. Nice. Triumphant pride precipitates. Oh, please let this be the last battle. I can't take it anymore. I can't take it. Another one of these things. Oh, no, we haven't seen one of these things yet, have we? But these things are still bad. I'm going to set up this, just so we have that really, really, really high prop from this guy. Get that bleed going. You're buffing that thing's damage. That scares me. But this is why. This is why we have that insane amount of prot there. Let's relieve that stress. Keep everyone stressed down a bit. And then buff everyone up. Keep on bleeding. You should be dead. Yeah, you're dead. We can focus on our deary friend now. Oh, we can't. Not yet. Then get the repost going. He'll probably get another attack in. Oh, no, he didn't. Great. Good to know. Good, good. Smack that out here. Dance, boy. Dance, dance, dance till you did. I don't know why I did that. That was the wrong skill. Oh, well. Savage Maul. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Beautiful. Right. We can get rid of another negative quirk here. Um, We still want to get rid of Distant, so let's try that again. Damn it, got rid of Calm. Calm's still a good one to get rid of, but I want rid of Distance. We unfortunately do have to check this. We got rid of all of our herbs, which is unfortunate because there's two of those in a row. Okay, no battle. That's good. Can make our way back now. We got all the way back and around. Probably going to try and skip this battle here because there's no reason to go to it. Hunger checks are fine. We've got quite literally infinite food. 50 is pretty much infinite when it comes to it. Oh, but this has been just just a crazy ride. And I know this episode is definitely longer than most. But sometimes you got to get more. we got to try and get as much out of it as we can out of our play sessions. And I've been really wanting to play this game as much as I possibly can. So I went for it and did exactly that. 
We made a lot of money here. If we could find a secret room, not saying that we will, but if we could find a secret room here, that would lead to a lot more money. Uh, we do have another battle here anyways, unfortunate. Another one of these things. Try and take it out as fast as possible. Because I, I really don't know how powerful they are, so I want them gone as quickly as we can. Got a bit of bleed there. Ren, that's going to be bleed, isn't it? You've got bleed resist, though. Great stuff. Set that up. I think whenever we've got big enemies, we set that up for the crazy high prot. Of course, you're going to be dancing. I keep doing the stretch relief one by accident. I don't know why. That was good stretch relief, though, nonetheless. Stab you. Play him on you. Resisted the bleed as well, which is great. That's a lot of stress. More crits as well. Can you stop hitting us for crits, please? You're dead to the bleed, so let's focus on you. Jonathan, next, he can't really do much. Please resist the bleed. He didn't. God damn it. Okay. Stress relief coming in. And this should be enough to finish off this fight. That was a bit, a bit scary. Uh, we'll get rid of that last one there and take that. Boy. Not good. Not good. Please only be one more battle here. Please only be one more battle. Oh, damn. We lost all the HP here. Let's, uh, let's do some food healing because we've got plenty of food. We can, we can uh, sustain it for now. I think it's fine to go for that. Yeah, we'll do that. A bit more of those. Lovely. Oh, my heart. My absolute heart is about to burst. Jonathan, please carry us through this. Because we do have another battle here. We knew we had at least one more battle. We can definitely use a shovel here. We've not used any of our shovels yet. 80, 60, 90, 90. You've got the most stress, you do it. There you go, nice bit of stress reduction. Right. Let this be the last battle, please. Okay, let's try and take out the stress deal as quick as we can. Uh, it gets it. Why does he keep getting it immediately? Annoying. Why do we never crit on the person that actually needs healing? God damn. Okay, we're going to get some moderate amount of stress income in here, but Nick should be able to deal with that mostly. Eldritch pull, fine. Luckily, she resisted as well. Nice and amorous. Nick. Nick, you bastard. This might actually be the legitimate... The legitimate worst thing. Worst disease you can get on a character. It's devastating to get. Like, if you have it on a character and know about it and build around it, it's actually pretty good. But it's not always the case, because now these two are just useless. Absolutely useless. And Nick's here like, yeah, I've got my little dagger. No, there you go. You fixed yourself. Good. Right. Uh, reduce stress here. Are you dead? You are dead. Good. We don't need to worry about you then. You're dead as well. Nice crit. This could finish this guy off. Could. Can't really do much here. Just do that. Finish that guy off a little early. You are going to survive this, so you're going to get another attack out. Don't think we need to worry about that too much. I will, after this mission, after this battle, even if it's not the last one, check the next room just in case we get a scouting chance. You better damn well stop moving, dude. Like, let's... It's not even the last one either, so it doesn't matter. Um, right. What's this do again? We don't have any holy water. Doesn't matter. Right, last battle. We've got a hag. First time seeing a, a, cr a crone. Sorry, not a hag. First time seeing one of those. Definitely want to take her out quickly. She can buff things up and stress us out. And dim the torch, apparently. Get rid of you, dog. Right. Nice crit heal there. Let's get on with some stress reduction here. Make sure everyone's as low as they can be when we leave this dungeon. But this has been a hell of a dungeon. Been a hell of a dungeon. Them bites. Them bites hurt a lot. Yeah, let's de-stress. 
In fact, let's double de-stress. Didn't get the chance. All right, you two bleed. You're dead. And Nick's not moving for this battle. Finally. Good. That's the bleed we like to see. Nice one, Jonathan. Take out the dog first. It's more important. We don't want rabies. The diseases we've gained this, this dungeon have been more than enough for a lifetime. Honestly. Far more than enough. So you're on 13, 17, 17. Okay. Go on you. Get that bleed going. Get that hit going. That's stress relief. You're on 17 still. Wow. Wasn't that an absolute shit show? <laughs> we got through it, but goddamn, Nick, you fool. Quite literally, you fool. That went on a little longer than I was expecting it to. But we got a lot and we leveled everyone here up to level 3. Um, yeah, okay, so he did actually replace a disease. Let's, uh, let's get rid of some of these, shall we? Let's de-trinket de everyone. Treatment ward costs minus 50. I like to see it. I like to see it. Right, uh, let's uh, just quickly go and sort by level. Then we can remove all trinkets. Good. Right. <coughs> Cura, you're fine. Jonathan, you're fine. Amaris. Oh, wait, okay. So she's got minus 25% virtue chance instead of gangrenous. That's fine. Still want to get rid of that on you. Um, This. Yeah. Still want to get rid of that. And then Nick. Holy shit, Nick. I can't believe you got leprosy as well. You had to get leprosy as well, didn't you? It's actually not bad. I can I can get down with some leprosy. Dancing Plague, please be gone with you. Holy hell. Right, anyone else to bring on? Not really, unfortunately. Not really got anyone there that we want to look into. Uh, let's check if we've got any trinkets we want. Uh, Ermine Seeker. Arsonist. Blood Torch. Darkest Dungeon based one there, that's interesting. Up to minus 40% damage received when health below 20%. Pretty interesting. Blackguard. Not anything super necessary there. Let's just check these out and see if there's anything here that can help us. Hi, women. We have a lot of money now, so I'm willing to spend on these if need be. On attack, hit self stress minus 10. Wow, that's insane. Um, Musketeer's got a great one. Occultist. Yeah, it's not too bad. <clears throat> Healing received, bleed resist, and blight resist. Plague doctor, no. No, I'm looking for some specific ones here. Vestal, no, not really. Um, ooh, what was the what was the thing that we had that was like plus fourteen percent crits? Oh, that's gone now, isn't it? Yeah, we got that. That got replaced. Um, thirty stun resist, thirty move resist, ten damage when acting first. Helion. 20% move skill chance. Yeah, we've got some interesting ones there, but nothing that particularly takes my fancy as of yet. Oh, boy. Right. We we probably should be doing some upgrades to some of these places. We've not done upgrades on a lot of these in a while. I'm kind of... I've, I've been sort of saving up for these, which we can afford now. Getting all of these up to level 5 would be pretty amazing. Uh, right, what do you, let, like, let's have a look. What do we need as a collective? So, 33 portraits plus 84 crests. 30, 33, 84. So, like, 130 something. Like, 180 crests, 88 deeds, and 33 portraits we need. Is it worth saving up for all of these at once? Or is it worth upgrading all the things that are still pretty down in the dumps? We've got tons of things that, like, really haven't been upgraded that much at all. Like, we've got loads of upgrades to do here. 
Got upgrades to do here. Yeah, we've got we've got a lot of upgrades elsewhere and like camping things like that. We really haven't done anything here. Uh, so it's really up to you guys. I think I think I'll leave that as a question for you guys to answer and see what you think what we should spend our money on. But either way, I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. This has been a pretty stressful, especially the back half of that pretty stressful episode. But either way, I hope you guys did enjoy and I'll see you guys in the next one.